Our next guest here at the APA CRS in Seoul, Korea is Dr. Pham Han Bor. He is a clinician, researcher, and educator who has presented at over 100 international and regional conferences. Dr. Pham, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. All right. Uh, could you introduce yourself a little bit more for our audience? Oh, I'm Dr. Pham Han Bo. I'm from Singapore Tantoxin Hospital. I'm the head of a cataract anterior segment and implant subspecialty. So, so I do a lot of cataracts. I do a lot of teaching as well as an educator, and I do some research to complete myself. Wonderful. Now, Dr. Pham, you have a presentation with the topic on redefining near needs for patients. Can you share more about the impact for patients in Asia? Oh, I think it's a big thing. So I think most Asians, first and foremost, East Asian especially, we are quite short-sighted. Habitually, we like to hold things a little bit closer. If you look at the characters of the East Asian, especially the Chinese, they're blockish. There's a lot of strokes inside, so you need a very good resolution to pick up those things. Evidence has shown that East Asian tends to hold things closer at about 33 centimeters, which is quite close. So we need a kind of lens to give the patient a kind of uh, near performance. And how does Techno Synergy help with that? For a long time, we have many IOLs. People are moving the near point, they're moving further away because part of the thing is the digital, you know, with digital. But having said that, the research with iPhone, yeah. on iPhone has yeah. shown that people still hold about 33 and 40 centimeters. And most of the multifocals out there, be it trifocals or something like that, they are not very strong at 30 to 40 centimeters. They mm. all work very well from 40 centimeters onward. So Techni Synergy gave a lot of near, strong near performance. I would say it's a wow near performance. So mm. this helped the patient a lot. Fantastic. What does continuous range of vision mean, by the way? Most of the bifocal especially, if you look at the profile, the defocus curve, there's a deep, a very severe deep in between the distance and the near point. And to some extent, the trifocal as well. Which means, for example, if a patient can see well and near well, but they can't see intermediate well, so that's a dip. With a synergy, there's a continuous range of vision. You can get good vision all the way from far to near without any significant dip in the vision. That means you can see at any range, at any distance, as long as about 30 centimeters onward, clearly. Well, can you describe your clinical experience with Techno Synergy? It's been good, for sure. You know, it's one, it's one of the newer premium uh, lens, the press biopic correcting lens I'm using now. If we look at visual outcome, we're always talking about 6-6 six, six, or 20-20 vision. Anything better than 20-40 or 6 chirp, we consider good outcome. But if we look at Techni Synergy from 33 centimeter, 30 centimeter all the way to far, Techni is able to give you 6 over 7.5 visual outcome all the way and with the far and near at 6.6. 6. Now this is fantastic because you don't have to walk so much, you can see it from near to far. Yeah. And on top of that, it does give very good uh, performance in the dim as well. Of course, yeah, I mean, there's limiting limitation, but uh, when it's not too bright, you are, it still give you very good near vision. Mm. And for the glare and halos at night, it is actually mostly tolerable by my patient. In that case, I would say it is uh, give very good visual outcome, wow for near, all the way to far, very usable in most environments. So it is a fantastic uh, press biopia correcting intraocular lens. Dr. Pham, how is Technus Synergy different from the other multifocals surgically? Well, in terms of implantation, it is just like any multifocals. It can go through an incision as small as 2.2 millimeter, which is a most single piece multifocal should be able to go through. It now comes preloaded, so it's so much easier to use. We will have difficulty with uh, loading or implanting. You can always rely on this preloaded lens. You know? And so far, it's delivered very consistently, wonderfully, smoothly, and safely. You know, today I learned a little bit about iHance as well, uh, another product line from Johnson & Johnson Vision. What are the differences between, say, iHance and Synergy? iHunt is now classified as what we call the monofocal plus. 
It is essentially still a monofocal, but it gives you a little bit more depth of focus so that, uh, you know, you can see from far to perhaps a one meter, so slightly less than one meter. It is not in the same class as Synergy, because Synergy can give you up to 0.3 of a meter. That's a lot of difference. The visual get nearer and nearer, the changes in power, in dioptic power, in the focusing power of the lens changes very rapidly because mm. it's not a straight line. It is a bit very steep towards the near point and get flatter as you approach further and further away. We often talk about the holy grail of presbyopia correction and it always seems within reach. Are we closer than ever before with Synergy? I think the holy grail of uh, presbyopia correction should be accommodation because that is po po probably the best possible vision for most distance. Okay, but unfortunately, despite many years of trying, we are still not there yet. Mm. And it will still be some time before we are able to go into a accommod true accommodative IOL technology. So until then, I think the synergy is inching closer to giving us a good range of vision. And it seems like overall, this is all supporting patients' lifestyle choices. Right. Uh, so which anatomic, visual, or lifestyle factors do you consider before implanting Technus Synergy IOL? I think Synergy is for those patients who want to be spectacle independent. They don't want to rely too much on their glasses, then this is fine. And I usually like to choose those who are hyperopic and uh, more myopic patients for multi, just like any multifocus. But it does have some limitation as well, why they have some night vision, glare and halos, and things like that. And some patients may not like that. Some patients are still happy with their glasses. Then, of course, they may not opt for synergy. And, of course, cost is an important consideration. Dr. Pham, what is the impact of Technus Synergy and Technus Synergy Tor 2 on your practice? Let's put it simple. A happy patient makes a happy doctor, a happy surgeon. And tiny synergy gives the patient near vow all the way to distance, deliver the outcome consistently. Well, I suppose as they say, uh, for 20 happy patients, patient selection is always important. Absolutely. There's no perfect ROL out there. All right, they're all good, but they do fit into, they, they are kind of a different shoes, and then you decide what shoes you want to wear. Well, I like the shoes I'm wearing today, and I like your shoes. Yeah, we are not tracking those fine, so if I'm tracking them, no, it's a different shoe. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, thanks again for joining us. We it's appreciate your time. It's my pleasure.